Okay, so let's let's make up a solo here. Okay, good. So the uh, intro is just a couple of the verse of uh, you know the lot first the first line of the verse. Yeah, so it's repeated. Twice. You just yeah, you just just you kind of just get get, get the get get it rolling. Get it. Rolling. And then you start singing after a couple of a couple of times through. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, now we could make that fancier, but let's 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 worry first about. Um, yeah. We're gonna keep this constant pattern going while you're singing of just. So we want to change the texture of what's going on here by maybe by, by having something that resembles a melody in there. Now it doesn't have to be this. Okay, that's too busy. Okay, but we want to have. Um, just something that makes it sound a little bit different by emphasizing certain notes. And it might just be that we pick a note in the G chord and play it on the first beat, um, like... We could just... Uh, try that. So just pick through the G chord. Yeah. And so just by changing the pattern... Now what we did there was you, you went... To, oh wait, you can't do that because that... Well, you could, you know, but... But, but it's a little... But what you what would be? But it's supposed to be. No, it'd be it'd be fine. What well, you know, we're <coughs> we're gonna be able to use all the notes on the top three strings. We want the bass is gonna keep tying up the sixth and fourth strings. Okay. Are we gonna keep that same pattern? Yeah, we're gonna keep the same same bass thing going. Okay. So we want we're gonna make up our lead our uh, here from notes on the top three strings. Got it. So any of the notes in the key of G. We'll be fine. Okay. Now we probably want to, on every chord, start with a note that's in the chord. Right. And 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 maybe we just have two notes in each measure that we emphasize. And it could be that we like we, we just pick a note on the G chord, like like this B, and play it on the first beat. Oh, like that. Yeah. And then and then play it again. Or we make the or that. Okay, and now when it goes to the D chord. Oh wait, are we going here? Are we playing? You want. Sure. Well, that's the next one, isn't right. it? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could go above. Sure. Oh, that's wait, it, that'd be okay. And then. Yeah, or you could stay up on that high note, like you could have on that E minor, used. Right. And you could even add a, maybe a higher note. Right. <laughs> so, so we could could have even started there, like you know that. So, what we could do is, or what what how I kind of would like suggest that you mess with this this week, okay? <laughs> is we could just stay with that finger picking pattern, where we've got a pinch on one, and yeah. then a couple other notes on the end of two and the end of three, okay? Yeah. But make them change change those notes around. Um, right. And it could be just starting with a pinch is going to already change the texture of what we've been hearing here. Okay? Right. And we could, it could be as simple as we pick a note in the chord and we play it on the first, on the pinch and also on at the same note at the end. Now I wonder if it would be like if you could do it, and now I've forgotten how to do it because I haven't done it for a while, but uh, maybe, um, how is it that we do that? Well, yeah, oh. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're talking about doing the whole D with F sharp? Yeah, yeah, well, the whole D with okay. F sharp at the what, bass. What I would do is, do it. you don't actually need to put the chord down, you only need to put down notes you're going to play. Right, but then I was leaving that one open, which was really should be there, right? Not if it's a D no, chord. I mean there. Where? Oh, right? Which string are you trying to hit? Oh, that one. Yeah, but normally when you play this chord in this song, you have that note on. Oh yeah, that's true. That's the, true. the note you're oh, the the one that's confusing you is hear. that one, right? Okay, right. Okay, so the note that doesn't appear to be in this chord right now is the high F sharp, right? right? But you could still start your melody. You could do something like this. You could still start your melody here, and then you could move to there if you wanted, or you could move even there, oh, that's pretty. or you could go to an open E. Okay. Yeah, so, so lots of options. So the uh, so I'll give you a couple more examples in a second. Um, 
if we think that we want to just fill in those three spots, the three the three fingers that happen in the in the measure, okay, right. with three notes that are different than the patterns we've been doing here. Some of those notes could be well, any note you play, you could use all the notes out of the G scale. Right. We have eight notes within reach from this G to this G. Right. And we, we even could reach up to A, or we could even reach up to B if we want. We could even go higher if we wanted. We'll mess with that later. Um, but so we have eight things to choose from up here. Right. And at any given time, whatever, according to what chord we're playing, certain notes will be in the chord and uh, the other notes will not be in the chord. Right. Okay. So we call those again harmonic if they're in the chord, non-harmonic if they're not in the chord. Right. Right. And so um, when a harmonic note will always sound good. So if, if I go to my G chord and I just play this, this, and this, then I go to my D chord and maybe just play this and this, then I go to E minor and maybe just play the same thing I did on G, and I go back to the D. I, now right there I added in another harmonic note because it's part of the D chord. So what I just played there was nothing but harmonic notes. Okay, same thing. Every, so I only played notes that were in the chord. I moved around a little bit on the D to, to vary whether I played the D here or the F sharp. Okay? Right. But now I'll use some non-harmonic ones not probably on the first beat. Like the first thing, the first note we want to hear is probably want it to be a harmonic note. Okay, now I heard a lot of different things in there. Yeah. On the G chord, I went, I played B, and then C, and then D. Okay, that would sound fine. So, so the C would be non-harmonic, but now I've got a little bit of melody with a shape to it, not just bouncing around from string to string with right. the harmonic notes. That's more interesting than just this. Yeah. And I just that time I just went B C D on the G chord and D C B on the D chord. Right. Okay. 